Good afternoon, delegates, participants. Let me join Neil in welcoming you to this very, very exciting summit. And let me try to amplify the need to look into learning for the future. Why are we doing this? I'm going to try to walk through a set of very simple arithmetic iterations. You can do the calculations in the back of your mind with me. Last year, 134 million babies born. And if, if our statistics are correct, roughly two-thirds of these babies will have a chance to enroll in a high school program. Furthermore, a large number of these students will drop out of high school before completing. This number is fairly high. It's about 40% in developing countries. So we're not sure as to how many of these 134 million babies will get a chance to complete high school. But those who care to complete high school, there will be a challenge waiting for them. They will get a chance to go to university in year 2030, 17 years from now. And if you look at the pace of change that we've been going through in the past two decades, we can predict that the world is going to be quite different in many ways for those fresh high school graduates in year 2030. There will be many, many other complex challenges, of course, with a lot of opportunities around them, but nevertheless, it will be a different world with many problems and complex issues facing them. It will be far too late for us to try to find solutions to those. It's those young students that we will, look, we will be looking at to find those solutions. But what will, will, will we be providing them with so that they will be prepared and well equipped to tackle those issues and move the civilization for, forward? And it is with that understanding and inspiration that the two organizations that reside in this wonderful region, the Perimeter Institute for Theoretical Physics and the University of Waterloo decided that it is our responsibility to provide an environment to start talking about how we can be progressive, how we can try to discuss these new solutions, new approaches, so that the new, brand new students will enjoy having. It's with this conviction that we decided learning is right now the most important challenge for all of us.